Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Dotson and you're going to need 185 bands total. If you just want to make the face, you need 82 bands and 103 for the body. Um, you can make it a different color. I'm going to make it this color. Um, you can use black and brown if you want and give a little color to the belly. I'll tell you how to do that, but I'm just going to do him like this. So let's get started. First, we're going to make the legs and the front and the back are the same. We're going to make his toes with our loom and a single band. You're going to need to make 12 of these for all four legs. You're going to loop it from the second peg from the bottom, twist to the left, creating an X in the center, twist to the right, and loop it back onto the second peg from the bottom. I'll do that one more time, taking a single band, whatever color you want your toe to be. Loop it from a second peg from the bottom, twist to the left, creating an X in the center, twist to the right, and loop it on the second peg from the bottom. And now on the left side of our loom, we're going to pull the bottom band up and over to the center on both sides, creating the knot. Repeating for the other one. And we're going to get it onto a hook, and you need three for each foot. So there's my three toes or toenails. Now, taking three single bands, we're going to pull all the three knots off of the hook and onto the three single bands and getting the other side onto a hook. Let's center our toenails, taking another set of three single bands, and we're going to pull the loops off of the hook and onto the three single bands. And you're going to have to repeat this three more times. And lastly, taking a single band, we're going to pull all the loops off of the hook and onto that single band. And let's tie it in a loose slip knot to add to our body later. So go ahead and pause the video and make three more for a total of four. Now let's make the ear on a loom. I'll turn it this way so you can see better. We're going to be using single bands, taking that single band, looping it from the first to the second peg, and coming down four times. So that's one, two, three, four. So you came down four, including the top band, that's five bands. Now coming diagonally from the second center to the side second, and coming down twice on the right side, so that's one, two, and we'll loop from the fourth side right peg to the center bottom peg, stretching your band out like that. So that's what your ear should look like. Now we're going to put some holding bands, taking a single band, twist double, and you can make your ear black if you want and connecting it from the third peg to the third peg diagonally. Another single band, twist double from the fourth to the fourth side peg. So that's what yours should look like. And if you're going to do your ear black, you want to make sure this first band is the color of the body. So use the right color band. Now taking a single band, we're going to cap that off by looping it three times. So that's one, two, three. With our hook, we're going to go under the cap band, grabbing the top single, and very carefully, see the nice teardrop, looping it onto itself. Let's finish the right side, reaching under, grabbing the bottom single, and looping it up and continue to the center second peg. 
So that's what I have so far. Now let's loop up the center of our loom, grabbing the bottom single and up and onto itself. Continue all the way up to the center first peg. And now let's take our ear off the loom and you're going to have to pause the video to make your second ear exactly the same way and come back when you're done. We're going to tie a loose slip knot for this top band to add to our body later. So those are my ears. And let's make the eyes, taking a single band, I'm using black, looping it four times on the hook. Another eye, taking a single band, looping it four times on the hook. Taking a single band, the color of your body, and pulling the loops off of the hook and onto that single band. Repeating for the other eye and set it aside to add to our body later. With the loom in this staggered configuration, we're going to take two single bands, covering from the one peg, twist in the center, to the other side, straight across. Repeat this two more times to cover six pegs, taking two single bands, and covering from the center peg now, twist in the center, loop all the way to the center third. The last two bands covering from one peg, twist in the center to the other side. So we covered six pegs. That's row number one. Row two, we're taking six single bands to cover our six pegs and we're going to loop the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. And it doesn't matter where you loop your bands, just as long as you cover all six pegs, and that's what it should look like. Now we're going to go under, grabbing the bottom two loops, pull up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops left on each peg. Just continue around all six pegs reaching from the outside and looping in to the center of your loom. So that's row number two. Push it down. Let's expand. We're going to pull the two loops off the center third peg and moving them to the center fourth peg. Now we're going to pull a single loop off of the side second that's attached to the side first and moving it to the third peg. So going on one side, I'm grabbing the top single loop and I see this one is attached to the first side peg so I'm moving it to the side third peg. And if I grab this other loop, if this one was on top, then I would just set it aside to grab the one that's attached to the first, moving it to the third. Now the second and the third has a single loop Let's repeat on the other side. Same thing, we want to grab the top single band and this one again is attached to the side first peg. If it was attached to the center fourth, then I want to pull the other band that's attached to the side first, this band that I have in my hook, and pulling it to the side third peg. Now again, the side second and third each has a single loop, and that's what we want. And we are now covering eight pegs. For row number three, we're going to put our ears, undo our loose slip knot, and we want to loop it from the side first to the side second peg for both sides. For the rest of our pegs, we're going to take a single band to cover 
the rest of our eight pegs and looping the bottom bands up and over leaving two loops left per peg. We'll start with the side second and third peg for both sides because we expanded there's only one loop to pull up and over to the center leaving us with two loops left on those pegs and the rest we should have two loops to pull up and over to the center leaving us with two loops left per peg push everything down so that was row number three row four let's add the eyes we're going to loop it from the side first to the center first peg for both sides so there are our eyes and for the rest we're going to take a single band to cover the rest of our eight pegs and we're going to loop the bottom two bands up and over leaving us with two loops left per peg just go under on the outside pulling the bottom two loops up and over to the center for all eight pegs leaving us with two loops left on each peg push it down and now let's add the mouth taking a single band we're going to twist double and looping it from the side first to the side second peg and we do not want it attached to our face right now taking another single band twist double repeating on the other side Taking a single band, we're coming in diagonally from the side second to the center peg, like that, creating that U shape. Now taking two single bands, we're going to come down from the second to the third side peg for both sides. And let's come in diagonally from the third to the center. what yours should look like and in the center of our face we're taking two single bands to close off our face making sure our bands are not overlapped on this bottom peg now taking a single band this is for the nose we're going to loop it four times on a hook taking a single band twist double and pulling the nose off of a hook and onto the single we doubled and let's put that as a cap in on this end center peg it's what yours should look like now taking a single band push these side bands down we're going to loop it on these two pegs to create the holding band and if you can loop it three times it's better but if you can't just do it twice so I'm going to stretch it out so that's one we want the nose sharp two and three so that's what yours should look like now we're going to go under the cap band where the nose is, grabbing the top two single bands and it should go to the center peg and you see that nice teardrop. Now loop the center peg, reaching in, grabbing the top single and loop up and onto 
itself and you see the teardrop that tells you where to go. Let's repeat on the other side, reaching in the center once again, grabbing that bottom single band, the nice teardrop looping onto itself. Now go under the nose piece, grabbing the top single, and mine's going to the right side, taking it there and finishing up the right side of my face. Go under, grabbing the bottom two single bands, and looping it to the side first for our face. Finishing there, let's repeat on the other side. Go under the center, bottom most peg, grabbing the bottom single very carefully and loop onto itself. You should see the nice teardrop and continue grabbing the bottom two bands up and over all the way to the side first peg. So our face is done. Now take it off the loom and be careful not to let these two, the bands off of these two pegs come off. We're going to get it onto our hook and attaching it to our face. So get the four loops off of each peg onto our hook like that. We're going to attach the face onto the side first peg for both sides and each side should have four loops. So taking the loops off of our hook, I'm taking two at a time so it's easier attaching it onto the left first peg, looping it around the center first peg without attaching anything on that center first peg, and then looping the other four bands onto the right first peg. And now everything's off of your hook and nothing is attached to the center first peg. Row number five, we're taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs. And we're going to loop the bottom two bands up and over to the center. Push all the bands down, looping eight single bands to cover all our eight pegs. So that's what yours should look like. For the first side pegs, we're going to pull the bottom two loops up and over to the center, leaving us with six loops. Let's repeat on the other side, going and grabbing the bottom two loops to pull up and over, leaving us with six loops left on that peg. On the other ones, we're going to pull the bottom two bands up and over, leaving us with two loops left on each of those pegs, along with the center first peg. We want to pull the nose down, make sure we're not pulling the nose bands grabbing only the bottom two loops that's already on that peg and pulling it up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops. And once again, this mouthpiece is still not attached to anything on that first center peg. So that's row number five. Row number six is our last row, taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs and looping the bottom bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. The first side pegs should have six loops to pull up and over to the center. So we're going to reach under, grabbing the six loops very carefully, pulling it up and over, 
to the center and we want to be left with two loops. Repeating on the other side, pulling the bottom six loops up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops and the rest you should have two loops to pull up and over to the center. Make sure you grab the bottom two loops. Along with the center first peg. Make sure you do not grab any mouth bands. Now let's take it off the loom. We're going to pull the two single bands off of each of the eight pegs onto a hook very carefully not to lose them and make sure you're not snagging any of the mouth bands onto a hook and getting our face onto a hook. So there's our face. Let's stuff it right under a hook. There's the little hole. I'm using some old bands. I have a lot of old bands. Stuffing it inside the face. Make sure you do not overstuff it. You can use cotton balls or whatever you have laying around. And now taking a single band to tie it off, getting all the loops off of the hook and onto that single band and tying a loose slip knot. Tuck it in to hide it. So here's our head. Let's attach it to our body. We're going to go to the back of the head and we're going to grab eight loops from the back, the second row from the bottom. So this is the row where we cinched it off. So the row next to it, grabbing two, four, six, eight. So the eight loops behind our head, like that. Make sure it's centered. So there's our face, and those are the bands that I grabbed. And now taking four single bands, the same as our body, we're going to pull all the loops off of the hook and onto the four single bands. And be careful not to let it tangle. So that's what yours should look like. One side's on the hook and one side's on your finger. On a loom, we're going to attach it on the center first peg. I'm putting the side where my finger's on to the center first peg and we want our head to be down. The eyes are down and the bottom of our head is up. And the other side that's on a hook, whether it's on your hook or your hand, you're going to attach it onto the side second peg. So one side is attached to the center first, the other side is attached to the side second with our um, neck pointing up and the top of our head pointing down. So that's what yours should look like. Now we're going to grab the top two loops off of the center first peg and we're going to move it to the side right first peg. And on the side left second peg, grabbing the top two single loops and we're going to attach it to the center third peg. So that's what yours should look like. And taking two more single bands, we're going to cover from the left first, twist in the center to the right 
second peg. So now we've covered six pegs with our head in that corner. Taking six single bands now, and you can start anywhere to cover our six pegs. And we'll loop the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. Push it down, that was row number two, and we're going to expand. We're going to pull the two loops off of the center third peg and moving them to the center fourth peg on our loom. Now we're going to move a single band from the side second that's attached to the first and moving it to the third. So reaching in, grabbing the top single band, and check to make sure it's attached to the first which this is, and if it's attached to the center um, fourth peg, then you want to set it aside to grab the one that's attached to the side first and moving it to the side third peg. So you want the side second and third to have a single loop. Repeating on the other side, grabbing the top single band and check to make sure it's attached to the first side peg, which this is not. You can see it's attached to the center fourth. We're going to set it aside, grabbing the other loop, and that one's attached to the side first peg. So I'm moving it to the side third and reattaching the first loop we took off back onto the side second peg. So now this side Second and side third has a single loop also. For row number three, we're going to take our legs and we're going to take the loose slip knot off and attaching it on the center first to the left first peg for one leg. And the other one, we are attaching it on the left second to left third peg on a loom. So that's where your leg should go. And for the rest, we're going to take our single bands to cover the rest of our eight pegs and then looping the bottom bands up and over. And if you want to add some color in the belly, then you want to do it here on the left first to left second and even spreading it to the um, left second to third and the left first to the center first peg if you want it a little bigger because that's where it'll be right down here. This is where it's between the arms of our Datsun. Now for the side Second and third, we're going to pull that single loop up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops left on those pegs. Let's repeat on the other side. And the rest, you should have two loops to pull up and over to the center, leaving two loops left on each peg. Push everything down. So that was row number three. Rows four, five, and six, we're going to take eight single bands to cover our eight pegs and looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving us with two loops left per peg. And it's going to be pretty repetitive. I'm going to fast forward. You're taking eight single bands to cover the eight pegs like this and then looping the bottom two bands up and over from the outside in. Push everything down and make sure our leg 
isn't in the way or isn't inside our body. So you're going to do this for rows four, five, and six. So that was row number six. You want to make sure you have two loops left on each peg. Now we're going to reduce to narrow the back of his body. We're going to pull a single loop off of the side second that's attached to the side third and moving it to the side first peg. So go on the side second peg, grabbing the top single band and check that is attached to the side third, which mine is, and moving it all the way to the side first peg. So now the side first has three loops. We're going to pull the two loops off of the side third peg and moving it to the side second peg. So the first and the second side peg should have three loops on them, repeating on the other side, pulling the top single loop and check to make sure it's attached to the side third which this is and if yours isn't then you want to set it aside and make sure you grab the loop that's attached to the side third and moving it to the side first peg and replacing it once you're done and now taking the two loops off of the side third peg and moving it to the side second. Now the side second and first has three loops and nothing on the third side peg. We're going to reduce to six pegs now, taking the two loops off of the center fourth peg, getting it onto a hook, pulling all the bands off of the center third, and attaching the two loops we took off of the center fourth onto the center third. So now we're down to six pegs, and that's what yours should look like. For rows seven and eight, we're taking six single bands to cover our six pegs and looping the bottom bands up and over, leaving us with two loops. So here, the side first and second should have three loops to pull up and over to the center, leaving two loops left on those pegs. Make sure you grab the bottom three bands up and over to the center. Repeating on the other side. And the center third and the first center peg should have only two loops to pull up and over to the center. Push everything down. That was row number seven. Row eight, I'm going to do the same thing. Looping six single bands to cover the six pegs and then looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving us with two loops left per peg. Push everything down and you can continue one more row if you want your body longer or a couple more rows if you want but I'm going to stop there. Row number nine, I'm going to add the legs and going to take it off or the loose slip knot band off and attaching it to the side first to the center first peg on the left side and the other leg attaching it on the side second to the center third. And taking single bands to cover the rest of our eight pegs. And looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg.
So there's our Datsun so far. He's pretty tight. Let's make the tail. We're taking a single band from the second peg, twist to the left, creating an X, twist to the right and looping it back to the second peg. And on the left side, grabbing the bottom band up and over to tie a knot in the center. And now we're going to pull the loop onto our hook. And I'm just going to take a single band, twist double, and pulling the loops off of the hook and onto the single we doubled. And I'm going to do that two more times. And you can do your tail a uh, different way if you want, but I'm just going to take four single bands, double it, and getting it onto my hook. So that's my fourth one. Now onto my body. I'm taking the two loops off of the right second peg and getting my tail onto those two loops like that and now let's take our dots in off the loom grabbing the two loops off of our six pegs going around and going around clockwise around my loom here's my dots in and now I'm going to stuff them and here I see the hole where I can stuff his body taking my loose bands or whatever you have around push it inside his body so there's my Datsun and I'm going to take a single band and getting the loops off of the hook and onto that single band to tie a slip knot. Let's tuck it in to hide it. Spread out the bands or the cotton balls in the body. And fix the legs to the way you want him to look and pull out his head if you want. So there are your Dotsons. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.